Hello everyone, my name is Krishin Kalsinger. Today we are going to talk about how to handle bounds, complain and rejection from the Amazon ACS using Lambda and Serverless. Before talking about Lambda and Serverless and how to handle bounds, complain and rejection from the Amazon ACS, first we have to understand what is Amazon ACS. Okay, so Amazon SES is a service provided by Amazon for sending emails. From the Amazon website, we can get the Amazon SES definition, which is, it is a cloud-based email sending service designed to help digital marketers and application developers send marketing, notification, and transaction emails. It is a reliably cost-effective service for business of all sizes that use email in contact with their customers. So basically, using Amazon ACS, we can send millions of email, and there are some advantages: high deliverability, it is cost-effective and configurable. Amazon ACS ACS include features such as content filtering technology, dedicated IP address, reputation dashboard. So when we are sending email, sometimes it get bounced and sometimes we get complaints and sometimes there is a running failure so amazon take your email failure seriously let's understand why amazon take your failure very seriously if your bounce rate is more than five percent then your account will be put under uh, under review so if you are you have to maintain your bounce rate below five percent okay if it is going more Amazon will put your account under review. If your bounce rate is 10% or greater, Amazon might post your account ability to send additional email until you resolve the issue that caused the high bounce rate. So that's the reason we have to handle we have to handle bounce, complaint and other rendering failure for Amazon SES is very crucial. Amazon is so serious that they have a dashboard also for displaying that uh, displaying your reputation like your reputation is healthy and healthy and all those kind of stuff. So we will be going through uh, Amazon SES console and then we will learn how we can handle those things. So what you have to do, go to the Amazon console which you are having. If you search here simple email service you will some, get something like that and if you see here that reputation dashboard the reputation dashboard will be something like this so it shows my account status healthy and my bounce rate is 0.0 percent as well as the complaint rate is zero so i have to make sure my bounce rate stay below five percent and complaint rate also less than 0.1%. Uh, Anything sender with complaining rate exceeding 0.5% again will have a risk of account suspension or ability to send the email. So how we are going to handle bounce, complain or other stuff? So we have to understand Amazon SES whenever you are sending an email, Amazon SES give us the message id okay and then it send the email and if email bounces due to whatever reason email was not there or mailbox of the recipient was full or something amazon give us that information back okay and that information can be captured in two ways so email as it means like amazon SES provide email feedback forwarding amazon provide a function provide our Amazon forward the notification to SNS and from that SNS we can so, uh, and from we can subscribe to that SNS topic and receive the uh, receive the email notification and take the action so how we are going to handle this Let, let's go through this diagram so we have a sending application we might have it a uh, database where we have a list of email where we are sending the emails so we'll be getting a list of emails for our sending application okay our sending application will be getting the list of email 
and then using Amazon SES will be sending email. Once the SES service send the email using ISP, it will get the notification like it will found that some not, uh, some email has the some email for some but the sequence has found or there's our Amazon SES got the complaint from the SES. So those uh, those notification will be posted to our Amazon SNS, okay? And then we can subscribe to those topics uh, using Amazon SQSQ or using Lambda. We can directly subscribe to SNS Q using Lambda and process it. Or we can or we can create a Amazon SQSQ and then we can subscribe a Lambda to this Amazon SQSQ to process the notification. So what will happen is we will we will send the email. Amazon SQS get the will get the post notification and will push that notification to Amazon SNS topic which we have created and then that notification will be uh, will be will be received by the sub subscribe will be received by the subscribe lambda or sqs or any other any other aw service which has subscribed and then we will be processing that notification and will update our database or up uh, our database or list with information that this email has not access or something like that so next time we don't send the email to those email ID, we do the appropriate we take the appropriate action so how how we can implement using the code and how we can implement using the uh, amazon console so first we will be going to the amazon console so whenever you want to send a uh, email using amazon console you have to add a email so i have added that email krishankansingle at gmail.com which is my email and then you have to verify it okay so you have to verify a new email enter that email and then you have to verify to get the notification of bounce complain or render we have to create the configuration set so we have to click on the configuration set and create configuration set sending bounce okay when you click on that it will create something like that once you will click on that then you have to create a destination. You have to select the destination type. So I'm selecting SNS. Okay. Once I click that, it will give me option like I have to put the SNS name. It means the topic where. So I can give anything as yes, bounce, notification, email, SNS destination. And then I'm specifying that Amazon SES should send me bounce notification, complaint notifications, sending failure notifications. Even I can click on select, send, reject, delivery, click open, whatever I want. And then the topic, so I have to select the topic here. What will happen is we'll be creating a SNS topic. That topic will be listed here or otherwise you can create new topic, okay? So I was already having this SES bounce queue so I can select that. What we can do is we can create a new topic here like this and then we can create a subscription or something like that. So once I select this, so what it will do, whenever there is a bounce happen, complaint happen or rendering failure happen, it will, Amazon SES will post to this SES bounce queue, okay? And then uh, that notification will go to our Amazon SQS queue and then our Lambda. So basically, I, I'm already having this learning SES. So if you see, I have uh, created the, the name of this configuration set as bounds SNS, and then I have bounds complain, delivery, reject, and learning failure. So for this event, I will be getting SES notification on this particular topic. Okay. So uh, for moving to this top this topic, you have to click on this email ID, and once you click on the email ID, there is a notification section. Okay, so in this notification section, also you have to select bounce, uh, select SNS topic configuration. So bounces again here, complaints here, SES topic there, 
and this email field wet forwarding which I was talking about we are not going to discuss about that that's why I have made it disabled and then do the save config so once I do that so any email which I will be sending from christiancarsingle.gmail.com and if is there any bounce that will be posted to SNS uh, topic which I have created so let's go to the SNS topic okay so again search SNS here So if I click on the topic, I, you see SES failure topic there, okay. So once I click on that, you will see there is a one subscription. So this subscription means uh, this topic has been subscribed by this particular queue, okay, ERN, EWS, SQS. So this particular subscription, so this SES topic has been subscribed by this SES, uh, SQS queue, okay. So once I click on that, it will give me the subscription information. So it's giving me SES and other information like what's the protocol and all those stuff. So let's go to this SQS now. So if I search, so here I have created one email failure queue dev. That is the SQS uh, queue which I subscribe to SNS which has been configured for sending uh, SES messages. So if you see here now, email failure uh, dev queue. So in permissions, we have to make sure we have this sections because this section will allow SNS to send messages to this particular queue. If there is no permission like this, then your SNS will not be able to send the messages to this SQS. Okay, and then at the end i have a lambda so i have created one lambda okay which is associated with this sqs so whenever any message come okay like it's showing right the messages in so whenever any message come to this api it will be uh, my lambda will be triggered okay so let's go to this lambda so lambda looks like this so sqs is the trigger and in this lambda has capability of uh, modifying so any logs will be written to my cloud watch it has the capability of writing to dynamic db and it has capability of accessing ses it's sns and sqs okay now this is the code uh, for my lambda which is like minified and encrypted so you won't be able to see it this is a monitor section so if you see here, there is a one button known as view logs in CloudWatch. So if I click that, I will be able to see the logs generated by this particular lambda. So once I go this, you can see there are so many logs trying to pass the object. So that's how everything works. So what will happen is, so let's do one thing. Let's delete all this, okay, so that you will be able to see what I'm doing. So let's send a message first, okay. So let's send a message, okay. So what I have to do is, let's go to the SES. So select this, send test message. Let me send a message to bounce at simulator. Amazon SES.com. So bounce at simulator.amazon.ses.com is a uh, mail simulator provided by Amazon to test the functionality. So I can put anything testing. Hi. How are you? So let me send this mail. So the mail I have sent. This mail will be bounced because I have sent it bounce at simulator amazon dot amazon com. So Amazon simulate the functionality of funds. So what Amazon SES will do now Amazon SES will send the notification to SNS and the SNS notification will be forfeited to my SQS and from there my lambda will be triggered and it will process the 
SQS process. So let's go to the SQS. If I do a refresh, previously there were four messages. Now it has become five. Okay. So if I click like this and click on this, it will open my Lambda. And after that, I can go to the monitoring, view logs in CloudWatch. So if you see here, uh, the two logs has been created. If I go here, but if you see here, so I got a bounce notification. If you see here, I got a bounce notification. This one, okay. So this is this is a SQS message. Okay, so if you see the body is coming and in that body I have this JSON object. So if I open okay. So if you see the bounce notification will be something like so notification type is bounce and the bounce type bounce type is permanent. So basically there might there will be there might be different type of bounds like permanent, undetermined, and soft bounds. Permanent means like this bounds is permanent. You should this email ID does not exist, so we should not send the email to this email ID at all. Okay, then you will be seeing here bound bounds recipient. So if you see here, there is it will be giving me email ID which uh, got bounds. Okay. So I can choose this information for finding out which email are getting bounced. And then I have a mail object and in this mail object I have the message ID. So when I was sending the email right, that time also I am getting a message ID. And once my mail got uh, bounced, I get this message ID. So both will be seen and unique. Using this message ID, we can identify which email was bounced. Okay, I might have sent hundreds of emails, but how I will identify which particular email got bounced so using this message ID, we can find it out. So, this is how the bounce objects look like, and you in this lambda function, we can handle it. So in the lambda function, we can pass this particular JSON object and then modify our modify our database or DynamoDB database or email list or anything. So next time we don't send the email. so this is the part one of my tutorial where where we learn how we how the Amazon SES work and how it sends the notification how we can handle and we went through the Amazon console. And we did the practical like uh, by sending mail, we got the bounce notification to my Lambda also. In la next lecture, we'll be talking about how we can achieve this using uh, serverless.fireball. Okay, thank you very much.